Today I got home from work and I got to head out and I'm going to try to get these things ported. So stick around and see what you think. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilson's YouTube channel. Well, how are you doing today? Now, before I do this porting of the headage, I want to just discuss a few things with you guys. Hey, eh? I know there's a few of you out there that are saying if you're changing the cam, you got to change the lifters. If you're got it apart, you might as well put a timing chain in it. And I get it totally. I agree. I agree 100%. But I am on a strict budget with this engine. I wasn't even going to tear it apart and just put it in the truck stock. So I've already went way past what I planned on doing. I know there's some things are gonna be cutting on and I apologize, but it is what it is. I can only afford to do so much. I can't afford to buy everything new, Jim. This ain't a, a tap it camshaft. It is a roller camshaft and the uh, lifters are roller lifters. I already bought the camshaft and if you buy new lifters, you're still gonna break in new lifters too. You know, it is what it is. The old lifters will work fine. They're oiled, they're gonna be cleaned, they're gonna be lubed, and we should be fine. Timing chain is tight, looks good. I'm just gonna leave it. I understand you're saying to change it, but I can always pull the front of the engine off and change it later. I just can't keep buying. I gotta buy a torque converter. I gotta buy a, a kit to upgrade the tranny. I gotta buy the turbo still. I gotta buy the controller still. I gotta buy, there's, there's so much to still do. So yeah. There's some things I'm not doing, but it is what it is. Hopefully you can, uh, you know, just follow me and bear with me and understand my theory. Eh? Don't forget the merch store over there. If you want to help me buy more parts, then go to the merch store and buy some gear. Why wouldn't you? I am using air tonight, so the air compressor is going to come on and off for crying out loud and just wreck over the video. But on them, I'll uh, I maybe add some music when the air compressor's on. But as you can see, I got the manifold gasket on the old one. So like I said, I'm not touching the bottoms. This is a bottom just because where the head's laying, if you're wondering. But I'm just going to do the tops where the flow comes out. And then uh, we'll see how it works. So let's get rolling here and we'll see how she goes. <laughs> Careful! Easy! <laughs> now don't worry about stuff getting into the head because I've got to pull the springs and everything anyways. So that's all going to come apart. I have a feeling this isn't an aluminum head. Aluminum bit. Now I did buy two metal bits, so I'm running into a problem of it coming up a little bit. So we'll have to get another bit, but we'll get the roughness down anyways. Off gasket. Jesus. Very nice. That's pretty good there. I'm not getting too carried away. Get a little bit of a lump there, but I'll fix that. That's pretty good. Okay. Like I said, it's just the top you have to worry about. Well, I gotta wait for the air compressor to stop, but I'm gonna wait. I gotta get some aluminum bits to finish supporting because those are metal bits and they're getting clogged up pretty quick. So. I'll pick them up tomorrow, and that way we can finish supporting on the weekend. Because I don't want to cock it over, Captain. I'm just kind of getting this cleaned up a little bit. I gotta finish cleaning this all up because this is just cock. The old head of roost is a little dirty, she is. But we'll clean all these ports up and everything like that, 
as you can see, it's working pretty good just with a razor blade on the side. I'll get her a lot better than that. Friggin' right I will. Clean up all these. Clean up the spark plug holes. Get rid of that. Check the valves while I have the doodad off. Hey, thing my bobber. We'll clean all the valve journeys out. Friggin' every cloth. Hey, just get rid of the old white job. Like I said, it's just a budget, so we don't have to get carried away. They look pretty damn good, to be honest with you. They look real good. I'll show you here in a minute. Like there's just one, just slightly cleaned up, and it looks fine. So I'm going to clean all these up, and then we'll uh, do some more porting tomorrow. But as you can see, it's a little rough in there right now. I still gotta smooth it out, but see how it's getting there? I just want, like I said, the top part where it flows out to work. Cause that's the exhaust, so it, it shoots out that way. And we'll give her a little bit more instead of such a steep angle and she'll be port matched to the friggin' factory doodads. But this ain't too long of a video because I'm just, like I said, tinkering. And I wasn't sure if those are aluminum bits or not because I didn't look into it, didn't really think about it too much. But they'll work good on the metal. So we'll clean them back off with the metal and we'll finish that. I got some sandblasting to do soon. So I'll take you along with that. I wanna sandblast the oil pan. I wanna sandblast the exhaust manifolds. I want to sandblast the covers and stuff like that so we can paint them up nice. Hey, what do you think? You think that'd be cool to go? Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell bar button if you want to see that. But like I was saying earlier, thank you for all the good comments and all the advice. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I'm not going to be able to do everything that people are asking me to do or saying I should do. I won't be able to do it all, so I apologize. But I'm going to try my best to do what I can afford. Right. I love all you guys, I do. So that's why. Why wouldn't I? Friggin' right, I should. But this is mint. This is uh, cleaning up real good, actually. Just with a little emery clothage. Holy. Big time. The valves look wonderful. Like They look like they're seated beautifully. I should have the springs in, so hopefully I can do them soon. We'll do that together. But I wanted to clean the heads and port the heads before I do the springs, because it holds the valve shut. When I do them one at a time, I'm going to clean it out one at a time because I gotta make sure these are clean e -e before I put them back together. Sure the hell do I want to put metal shavings through the engine the shavings through the engine. But look at them. Just for a quick wipe down like real quick. Hey they're in nice shape they are. Really nice shape. Friggin' right. Thank God for air I'd be euchred. But I'm gonna sit here and finish buffing this up and that and this and the other friggin' thing. But I'll be back. Leave me a comment down below if you want to see more Porton. I'll show you the finished product either way, but if you want to see more, hell, why the hell wouldn't I? So just leave a comment and say, yeah, we want to see more. Freaking right, we do. This is just a short little update of what I'm doing tonight. I'm going to spend another about another hour on cleaning this head up. You'll see her tomorrow when I'm done. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button. Don't forget to check out the merch store. And I know there's not much on there, but check her out anyways. Why wouldn't you? And until next time, you know what to do for now.